rebuilds from this summer's deadly wildfires. Many Native Hawaiians fear they may be forever priced out of their homeland. Hawaii is the most expensive state in the nation. Residents spend nearly 50% above the national average on things like housing, insurance, and utilities. And the average home value is more than $840,000. Adam Yamaguchi has the story. What is so special about being here? <sighs> the wind. The wind is different. It smells so sweet. It rained the other day. The ua is just so heavenly. It's just everything I'm about for. Doreen Hall, born and raised in Pearl City, Oahu, was among those who made the difficult decision a few years ago to leave Hawaii with her husband and youngest son. She's back, but only on a short vacation. Unlike city dwellers priced out to suburbs, native Hawaiians aren't just leaving their homes, they're leaving their homeland. For many, this is far more than about moving. It's existential. Each year, 15,000 are leaving home for the mainland U.S., which now boasts a larger population of native Hawaiians than Hawaii itself. This is where my heart is. This is where my children is. This is where my mom and dad are laid to rest. Rampant development, an influx of mainlanders moving to Hawaii, and the growing tourism industry have priced native Hawaiians out of their homeland, and in some cases, have forced families apart. I'm really gonna miss like going out to just see the ocean and being able to like hear the waters like this. 17-year-old Hope Mamala's parents left to pursue economic opportunity last year, leaving her to finish high school alone. And sometimes I start to cry because like I just said, I'm always around my dad then. I call them almost every day and we have like a family group chat so we share pictures, pictures of our dogs and stuff. But yeah, it's really sad because I'm really close to my parents. Why would Hawaiians leave this? I think Hawaiians are being pushed out of paradise. There's just nothing left for us here to really call our own. So it's not a choice. People it's not a choice. Have... Zayden, yes. stop bringing me papers from the back. Shantasha and Richard Pellin are among the many who are out of options. So with the cost of living now, it's, it's going to be impossible for us to give our kids something out here. And we know by going to the mainland, we're going to be able to put our kids in a home that we can call ours. Hawaiians are leaving their homeland for what they call the ninth island of Hawaii. And of all places, Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, it never gets dull though. So this is insane, all these billboards and just lights and it's crazy. Yep, don't have this in Hawaii. Hawaiians were pioneers of the city's entertainment scene in the 50s and 60s. Over the decades, visitors became residents. But it wasn't until the cost of home ownership in Hawaii skyrocketed that a trickle turned into a near exodus. We met back up with Doreen Hall in her adopted home here in Las Vegas. Home ownership here becomes a reality for Hawaiians, but comes with a huge sacrifice. Comes with a huge sacrifice. But we can enjoy to live here. We can breathe. We can afford the mortgage payments. So to actually uh, work to live instead of living to work is amazing. How are you able to sort of bring that culture with you when everything around you is so different? I think a lot of us here, a lot of ohana that is here in Las Vegas, we create our own Hawaii and we continue for our family to continue to bring our traditions here every day. Food is really cheap here, so I, learn, I tend to cook a lot. There you go. As past president of the Hawaii Las Vegas Civic Club, Hall still remains active in the group, aimed at helping transplants find community in the desert where Hawaiian-owned businesses are opening up each year, offering them opportunities they may not have back home. It's these possibilities that the Pelin family hopes is in their future on the mainland. I think the biggest thing that I don't want my son to lose, they teach him so much. Hawaiian values, you know, how to speak olelo Hawaii, how to understand olelo Hawaii, how to learn how to treat each other with that aloha, yeah? We really instill in a, a lot of good qualities in my son that, that represents who Hawaiian people are and what Hawaii is about. Along with their five kids, the Pelins are saying farewell to the only home they've known. In the meantime, you're making the most of it. You're doing everything you can to make this feel like home. And the mythology back home is the Hono will always return home one day. And when that day comes, our home will welcome us with open hands and aloha. For now, this is home. Adam Yamaguchi, CBS News, Las Vegas.